this is uh, essentially what I did. So since everything's moving back, you know, over an inch, uh, I moved this bracket to some existing holes already in the frame so that this uh, crossbar is at a nice uh, 90 degree angle to the transmission so that everything works uh, smoothly and none of the bushings are too cockeyed one way or another. So after doing that, the next thing is put it in park and uh, I loosened up this set screw on the uh, selector here. It goes to the shaft, goes to this, and then goes to the selector which is attached to the valve body, the rooster comb on the valve body. And uh, so once it's in park with the uh, set screw loose, then I go ahead and take this and push as far back on it as I can to make sure that it's all the way engaged with the parking pawl. And then, it's kind of muddy the way that they describe it in the FSM, but essentially I just let this go to where it sits naturally so that uh, this engages with this bushing as cleanly as possible. And then, I went ahead and tightened this back down to seven and a half foot pounds. So that's for the linkage. Now let me show you what I did with the TV cable. So I didn't have to do anything on this side. This side just gets left alone. Everything with the TV cable gets done under the hood. So it seems like there's a lot going on here with all the linkages and stuff. And there kind of is, but it's not too bad. So the first thing that I did is I just verified that idle speed is what I want when it's fully warmed up. So I did that first. And then I'm also checking that this... Uh, linkage is bottoming out on the idle speed screw there otherwise it's going to mess some things up so just double checking that the uh, engine speed is good and then from that I can then mess with the TV cable which is this one right here and uh, in order to get to it it's pretty straightforward but there's a little pin that you pop out a washer that you take off this one moves out of the way then this pin comes out, that washer comes out, and then we have access to put a shim in here to verify that the distance between this pin and the inside of this slot is .180. And so to do that, I actually have my little gauge here, my .180 gauge. So once this, uh, this other stuff here is out of the way and you have a nice straight shot to be able to get this gauge right in between this pin and in there it needs to come straight at it so it kind of comes straight in there like that that's the distance that we're aiming for so now if there's too much slop in it and in my instance I had way too much I had almost twice what I needed all we got to do is trace the TV cable back to here and we will see this little opaque tag and all you have to do is just gently stick a flathead under there to pry it up and then this whole assembly here can slide back and forth in here and then you push back down on this to lock it once you have obtained the exact clearance that you want if that's uh, clear as mud feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you out